So I have the oven preheating right now because I'm gonna be roasting some veggies so that I can make my high protein tomato soup. And let me just say that this is something that y'all gonna wanna go ahead and write down because this is just the perfect meal for fall. Earlier I went to the grocery store and picked up some groceries because I wanna do some meal prepping. I feel like the best way for me to support myself when it comes to my transformation journey is to set myself up for success. But in case this is the first time y'all are seeing me, my name my name is Bonnie Ray. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me. And I'm currently on a transformation journey to become my best self. So I've written down everything that I need to prepare so that I can be set up for success like I had shared before. So today I'm preparing the tomato soup, which I let y'all know. I'm also going to be roasting some sweet potato, making some rice. I also am going to be chopping some romaine and cucumber to have prepared as salads. And then I'm also going to be making my overnight oats, but then I also kind of want to make my chia seed pudding but I think that the overnight oats might be easier to do I don't know we'll see and then I'm also gonna be preparing some shrimp for myself because I am pescatarian but I'm also gonna be preparing chicken for my boyfriend he eats chicken so he'll enjoy that <laughs> I suppose <laughs> let's hope <laughs> But anywho, y'all, if you enjoy this type of content, transformation content, food, meal prepping content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that post notification bell so you can be informed the next time that I upload a new video. Okay, so my oven's almost ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these veggies ready so we can get those roasting because they're gonna need to be in there for a minute, and then we can continue on with everything else. <laughs> my tomato and garlic and I just drizzled some olive oil and seasoned it with some salt and pepper and then I decided to just slice up the peppers and roast them separately and have them as like a topping to whatever salad or bowl situation and I seasoned these with salt pepper nature seasoning and garlic powder so now both of these can just go into the oven and get to roasting <music> peppers are ready can you believe this little bit that was three bell peppers like why is it so little like such a little bit amount and this is what my tomato and garlic is looking like so for the tomato soup, after your tomatoes and your garlic is all roasted, you're going to add everything to like a big pot and then you're going to get a can of cannellini beans and then you're gonna need one full thing of veggie broth and then I'm gonna use one veggie bouillon cube and one or two bay leaves. So again, with the cannellini beans, you do wanna make sure that they are drained and rinsed before you add them into your pot. So let's just go ahead and get everything together. So we're just gonna add our tomato and garlic into the pot. And then we're gonna let all the oils and juices also go into the pot. I'm scrape the bottom of the pan the best that I can. And then next you're gonna add in your full carton of veggie stock or veggie broth rather, I'm using veggie broth. But if you prefer like a chicken or a beef, you know, do you, but I'ma do me. And I do vegetable broth because like I mentioned before, I'm pescatarian, I don't eat beef or chicken, so vegetable broth it is. We're gonna add in the one bouillon cube. And then we're gonna add in our drained and rinsed cannellini beans. I feel like I should do more than one can, but I don't want it to be beany. I'm like, oh, do I want another can? Add a little bit more protein. Then you're just gonna take your bay leaf. This is good enough, this one. Actually, I'm gonna do two, so I'm gonna put in one and then two bay leaves. And then we're gonna stir that up. 
So the burner is on a little bit over medium. I'm just gonna let this simmer and let the beans cook and then we'll move on to the next step. Top of the All right, so we have our soup here. And so we're just gonna fish out those bay leaves, but you pretty much just wanna let it simmer. I did turn it off and let it <laughs> sit for a bit, but where are my bay leaves at? Oh God, oh, there's one. So you guys wanna fish out the bay leaves. And so for this next part, you can use like a regular blender, but I have an immersion blender. So if you have one of these, it's gonna be a lot easier because everything can stay in the pot that you cooked it in. The only thing we seasoned were the tomatoes and the garlic with salt and pepper. And then we put a bouillon cube and the bay leaves in here. So you may need to add additional seasoning to taste. I usually will do that after I immerse everything. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything up now. And then so I always like to take a spoon just to make sure or this isn't a spoon but it's a wooden utensil but I like to make sure there's no like big super biggy chunks like a big chunk of garlic or like a bean that wasn't fully blended up but it's looking pretty good I'm like should I simmer that other can of beans I, ne I never added it but let me just taste it and then we'll decide who is going to be hot It's good, it just needs more seasoning. <laughs> I'm just gonna season it and we're gonna go from there. So this is what the soup looks like when it's done. It's just so smooth. I just love a nice smooth soup. And having the beans in there gives it the extra protein and literally you can't even taste it. It just tastes like tomato and garlic. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have my salmon. I know earlier I said shrimp, but I really meant <laughs> meant salmon so I just have my bowl here where I'm gonna mix up my seasoning and so I just really season and measure things like with my heart so this is what I'm gonna be doing it's gonna be like a chipotle a honey chipotle type of salmon so I have chipotle seasoning and honey of course and then I have some cumin some red pepper flakes garlic powder, onion powder, and then some Old Bay. And I'm also gonna be using some olive oil, but I'm gonna mix everything up in this bowl first, and then I'm gonna put it on to my actual salmon fillets. So this is what my marinade looks like. I did also add in some fresh squeezed lime juice. And so now I'm just gonna take it, spread it on top of my salmon. Spread it out. And then I also just like stab the salmon too with my little spoon just so that my marinade can seep into the actual meat of the fish. Looking good. So this is the chicken. I totally forgot to record for y'all. I'm so sorry. So it's been a lot of cooking and recording and I, this is literally like, I think the last thing. No, I still have to do the rice. I'm not doing the sweet potatoes because my sweet potatoes actually were bad. So that sucks, but that's, it's fine. We'll just keep on moving forward. You know what I forgot to do though, was add the basil to the tomato soup. So I'm gonna do that now. Literally we have like a few seconds and then I'm gonna take the salmon out, put that chicken in, and we are gonna be on our way to being done with this meal prep. Take my salmon out. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Can y'all see it? It looks so good. And I'm gonna put his chicken in. Actually need to adjust the temp. Here we go. Ooh, that Chipotle honey salmon looking real good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna rinse the basil. And then I'm just gonna chop it up and add it into my soup. Cause I like the taste of fresh basil.
I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy that I have food prepped so now I don't have to be worried about what I'm about to eat. And then my boyfriend's chicken's over here, so I'll let y'all know what he thinks. And my rice is done. It looks perfect. Yes, I'm so happy I can make rice now in this dang Instapot. All right, y'all, so that rice was the last thing that I needed to prepare. And so I'm gonna let that cool down and then put it in the fridge. Well, I'll probably have my boyfriend do that as well as put away his chicken because I am tired. And I feel like I've been cooking all day, but I know it was well worth it just putting in the effort now so that later on down the line when I feel like this after a long day, I can just get up and warm up some food or prepare a salad, whatever it is that I wanna do, I have food already already prepared so that just makes me so happy and if y'all want to see the type of meals that I prepare with the food that I meal prepped make sure that you are subscribed give this video a thumbs up and hit that post notification bell so you can be informed the next time that I upload a new video because I will be sharing the meals that I prepare from this meal prep in my YouTube shorts so make sure that you are subscribed so you can check those out thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye